Namaste Dosto. I'm about to take you out onto the streets of Dubai and show you how to buy a very cheap but very, very dodgy VPN. And then I'm going to show you why you should not do this, why this is dangerous. This is the back entrance to a mall that caters for the labor camps that surround it. And all of these guys standing around are selling VPNs. The first time I saw it and I saw these guys approaching people, I thought they were selling drugs. But nah, it's just a VPN black market. Ah, VPN change. Konsa? Konsa? Uh, iPhone? Hai? iPhone? Hai. iPhone or Android? iPhone or India? Don't know data, no? Okay. 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 All right, we're back. And so this is it. It is a voucher with a code on it that you enter into an app on your phone. But first, what exactly does a VPN do and why is it needed here in Dubai? Well, this is quite unbelievable, but in this day and age, here in Dubai, you're not allowed to make calls over the internet with apps like FaceTime or WhatsApp. It's banned and it's banned and it's blocked because the telcos want to have that monopoly on international calling. You have to buy international minutes to call your family overseas. They block a number of other things here in Dubai as well. Chiggy wiggy sites, they block dating sites. At one point, Roblox, the game was blocked and they just block anything which is considered undesirable by the government. And so what a VPN does, what this little voucher allows us to do is install an app on our phone and access the internet in another country, allowing us to bypass whatever blocks or censorship is happening in our country. Now this VPN, it costs me $1.30, okay? Nothing, $1.30 per 30 days. And let's see. Who are we trusting our internet traffic with? Who's the company behind this? And what country is this VPN connecting to? And I should also mention, the name is DU+. And so there's trademark infringement there. They've stolen the name of one of the government-owned telcos here called DU. So they're playing off that. So let's see. I'm gonna install the software and see where it's connecting to. Oh man, there's even ads on this VPN that we just paid for. So the VPN is connecting to a rented server in Los Angeles in California. So we'll be using the American internet, but the VPN connection doesn't actually work. I can't visit any websites, it's dud. It's, it's a fake piece of software, it doesn't work. So if you brought this, you just lost five dirhams. And if you look at the comments online, you can see a lot of other people are having the same issue. The software does not work. I just lost 10 dirhams. So I dug into the company who's developed this VPN. They're based in Singapore and their website is totally generic. There is no information about their team on that website. And that's a red flag. That's done for a reason because they're hiding. They're selling a product that doesn't work. They've infringed DU's trademark and who knows what else they're up to. We don't know who the company is, who's running it. We don't know how secure this VPN is. What are their security protocols? We don't know anything. Have they been audited to show that their security practices are real? No, we don't have any information on this VPN or the company behind it. 
and that is a huge alarm bell, that is a huge red flag. Because when you're buying a VPN, you're trusting your internet connection, your internet activity, your personal data with that VPN company. You're connecting to their server and using their server to access the internet in another country. So you have to trust that they're not logging your activity, that they're not harvesting your personal data, and that their systems are secure, that their VPN software is secure, and that they've been audited too, to prove that. You don't get any of that with these cheap black market VPNs or with free VPNs either. So before you buy a VPN, please do your research into the company that you're trusting your data with. Stay safe out there and don't trust just anybody.